School District 60 student. Most of you already know me as Miss Monica Conway. You usually see me coming into your schools and teaching fun, hands-on, applied design, skills, and technology projects. They will be a little bit different because I will be teaching you digitally from my makerspace to yours. When working in any type of makerspace, please make sure to review the Be Safe in Your Makerspace protocols. Today we'll be making a cardboard robotic hand. The materials and tools needed are of the following. If you would like a list, you can find that in the description below. So now that we have everything, uh, let's get started. Our first step will be cutting out pages one to four, project stencil slash blueprints. Attach sides A1 and side A2 of the arm together using masking tape. And you're gonna do the same with your arm support piece. Attaching the B1 side to the B2 side. Using a marker, trace around your stencils onto a piece of cardboard. After you have all your pieces drawn out, cut out your cardboard using heavy duty scissors, a cutting blade, or an exacto knife. Using your robotic arm blueprint for reference, mark the black thumb string guidance holes shown here. Drill out the marked black thumb string guidance holes using a drill bit. This drill bit should be roughly the same size as your straw. Using a straw ruler, crimp your cardboard fingers. This allows the fingers to become pliable. Cut five string lengths of 17 inches and tie knots on each end of each string. When tying the knot, use the overhand knot three times in the same spot for each string. Cut your straws into pieces. You will need the following. 17 half inch pieces, five one and a quarter inch pieces, two three inch pieces with the bend of the straw in the middle. Attach straw pieces to cardboard as shown on blueprint.
thread string through thumb guidance straws. Use the end of the string that has no knot. Glue down knotted end of the string to the tip of the thumb. Continue by threading the string through the guidance hold straws and glue down the knotted ends of the string to the tips of the remaining fingers. Attach your last one and a quarter inch straw piece to the cardboard as shown here. Attach the robotic arm support to the back of the robotic arm using a glue gun. Take the two remaining cardboard cutouts and bend the cardboard, making it more pliable and easier to work with. Cut half inch slits as shown here. These slits are made to hold in rubber bands that keep your hand brace and wrist brace attached to your robotic arm. Attach the hand and wrist brace to robotic arm using rubber bands. Make sure rubber bands are placed in slits provided. Make thumb and finger rings using pipe cleaners. Put your hand into the cardboard robotic arm. Mark onto the cardboard where the rings will be on your fingers. This usually is your first knuckle. Tie string to the rings. 
length determined as per your marks indicated. Trim any remaining string. I've noticed when using your cardboard robotic hand, cardboard might separate at the tips of the fingers. Use glue gun to adhesive cardboard together to correct this. And there you have it, your very own cardboard robotic arm.